Hey guys, this is a market update. In this video, listen to some of the biggest hopium I have ever heard of in my life. Talking about YouTubers and clickbait price predictions. The world's biggest investment banks have outdone all of us by a factor of 10. I've never seen price predictions like this before. These are crazy, these are outrageous. But if the world's biggest investment banks are now coming out pro crypto, pro metaverse, pro Bitcoin, then maybe other people are gonna to start to listen as well. So we're gonna go through that. Look, we've had a massive sell-off and we've had a little bit of a bounce, which is great. So, you know, from that low, things are looking a little bit easier, but people have still lost a lot of money from that high. I'm gonna look at the chart right now before we get into the metaverse stuff, which is just pretty much insane, to be honest. Uh, this is the Bitcoin price chart that we're looking at. And unfortunately, there is nothing really massively bullish about this. Yes, we've had a nice little bounce uh, from the low there at kind of 33. We're moving up, so it's a nice recovery here. So anyone who is bottom fishing down here and traded, congrats, you, you know, you're up a lot. Um, but you can see the uh, the trend line that I've drawn here, and unfortunately, we're still underneath resistance, right? So this is still absolutely within a downtrend. And what we've seen previously in the chart is that essentially this trend line that I'm, I've drawn here from the very top, it has been a straight line down. And as you can see, what's happening is that every time the price recovers to this line, it's getting rejected off this line and then goes lower. This is a classic downtrend. Every time it gets to this line, rejected, 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 broke this very important support at 40, and now we're recovering again. Unfortunately, until we get past this line, so let's you know say that it might get up, get up to this line, we could even recover to around 40 and still be in a downtrend. The only time that I would really go bullish, and I guess if you're a short term trader and a technical trader, if you saw the price break up above 40 and actually go above this line and consolidate above this line, that's probably a time to actually uh, just go for a long trade in terms of a risk reward ratio. Um, so that is really trading Bitcoin. If you want to trade Bitcoin, go to buy bit, you can get a $4,000 deposit bonus. That is futures though, so definitely not for everyone. But have a look at this ridiculous hopium for Bitcoin. Now, this is ARK Invest who, wow, I mean, look, they've been absolutely battered with this tech sell-off, but they think, and th th this is a, a professional firm um, that has institutional investors, they're saying that Bitcoin could exceed 1 million per coin. And what they're doing here is they're showing all of the different industries that it could, um, you know, go and kind of take market share from. I, I don't agree with this, okay? So, you know, um, you know I, I, I'm really extremely happy to be wrong, okay? So if we get 1 million Bitcoin, then wow, but... Um, just looking at this, it just seems wrong. So 5% of global high net worth, you know, uh, investment. Okay, 2.55% uh, of institutional asset base. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe that a lot of, um, you know, institutional um, investors, uh, sorry, corporates, I mean, 5% of cash, right? 5% of cash of S&P 500 companies. I absolutely do not, do not believe that. Most, um, you know, corporate treasuries, really they're just there for the business, right? So you're not gonna get businesses piling in and investing in, in other um, assets and commodities and digital assets. It could possibly happen, but 5% of all corporate treasuries, yeah, I think that is hopium. Nation, straight, nation state treasury, 1% potentially of you know a lot of emerging economies. Um, an economic settlement network, 25% of US bank settlement volumes. I don't know, but there's a long way to go. I really hope this, but I believe this is massive hopium. This is crazy, but you know, to be honest, it is a very breakthrough technology and I'll be very happy if this does happen. Next, I wanna to come to the metaverse, which is exploding right now in many different ways. Not just users, but also big investment banks are saying this is the next growth industry. So please don't look at short-term price movements and say, well, everything's over. What we actually need to look at is the fundamental growth story, find out what the A1 projects are, and then invest in those over the long term. I go more in depth about this in the crypto investor course. If you want to uh, find out about the crypto investor course, look at my trades, look at my portfolio, have a conversation with me and the other group members, link in the description. I posted this to the private groups, I think yesterday. This is massive. In bittersweet news to share, I'm leaving YouTube and I'm joining o uh, OX Polygon. This is Polygon Matic, okay? The head of gaming at YouTube is now working at Polygon Studios. Why this is important is because Polygon Studios are essentially the you know, commercial arm of the Polygonmatic blockchain. So Polygon Studios is breaking into all of these different areas, gaming, streaming, 
GameFi, um, Metaverse, it's all there. And Polygon really, for me, is at the forefront of the commercialization of the blockchain, okay? So yes, you have Ethereum, you can buy and sell it, that's great. But the bigger use case, the mega use case is using Ethereum as a settlement layer for Web3, billions of transactions a day. And you may say, how is that even possible? Well, that is possible with the use of something called ZK rollups. This is the technology that is going to scale Ethereum. And for me, Ethereum is still the number one uh, that all of these ecosystems want to develop on. Excited to welcome uh, Fwiz, YouTube head of gaming to OX Polygon. This is Matic's um, kind of founder. Um, so have a look at this, Polygon Studios. This is kind of a, a commercial arm, right? So if you just go down their Twitter, you can see what they're developing, games and everything. Um, you know, this just token after token coming on this blockchain. So if you want a diversified bet on uh, Web3 and all of the development that's happening, clearly there are big moves, okay? The head of YouTube Gaming going over to Polygon Studios, leaving YouTube, going over to Web3 to develop this, okay? So this is, this is huge news. You can see that Polygon Studios is just post after post going after different games. And this is the big use story for me with gaming, uh, with the blockchain, which is really, you know, micropayments, mobile games, billions of users. So a use case that isn't just buying and selling stuff for a profit, but actual games that have value and billions of people that aren't interested in investing, but are interested in gaming and communities. And there's a lot of value there and value leads to high valuations for certain assets. Um, and the way to play that is through obviously Matic in this case. Um, going through to one of the technologies that I'm interested in, I'm going to be making some videos for the course about ZK rollups, explaining what they are, explaining why they are important. That, uh, those videos will be coming for free for existing course members. As you know, if you're an existing member, you get free lifetime access to everything that comes after uh, when you get into the course. Look in the description if you want to find out more. Moneyzg.academy. ZK scaling tech. This is the future, okay? So uh, recursive snark. This is a, a succinct, non-interactive argument of knowledge. And what happens is that it's a hundred times faster than existing alternatives. There, there really aren't alternatives, right? So it is Ethereum compatible. It can prove Ethereum transactions and proofs can be verified on Ethereum. Why that is important is because decentralization is important. So you need the most decentralized Web3 blockchain, which is Ethereum and always will be in my opinion. It's the biggest, it has the most liquidity and it will keep drawing more liquidity to it. But you need to scale it. Matic is right there at the forefront of this. It's really fundamental news like this, why I don't care about these short-term price movements. Jerome Powell is having a meeting at the Fed today. If he wears a red tie, everything's going south. If he wears a blue tie, everyone's off to the races. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's almost embarrassing actually that one man's eyebrow twitch could send the market down. It's actually pathetic to be honest. But what we can see is the fundamental adoption. The world's largest investment banks and the biggest technology companies in the world are jumping into the metaverse because it is a massive trillion dollar industry. And we can ride that. We don't have to go crazy. We don't have to buy some random altcoin. We can have a structured plan to invest over the long term regularly into the market to get a good average price for our investments and get exposure to this growth industry. That's all we need to do. We don't need to be heroes with anything. YouTube itself saying that they will explore NFT integrations. NFTs have to be on public blockchains. You cannot have an NFT on a YouTube blockchain. It doesn't work because it needs to be on a public verifi verifiable blockchain. The, there's only a few options here and it really is Ethereum. So for me, that's one of my big bets in Web3. Uh, we come down. We always focus on expanding the YouTube ecosystem to help uh, creators capitalize on emerging technologies. So yeah, NFTs, you know, if you want to get, give something to your creator, creator or a creator wants a community, you know, a, a small tight-knit community of their, you know, their greatest fans, this NFT technology can help. This is the Hopium. ARK Invest think that ETH will be worth 20 trillion in a decade. If a YouTuber put this as their title, they would be laughed off the platform. But these are professional investors just making some of the most audacious, uh, just absolutely insane price predictions I've ever seen. But it doesn't stop there. Goldman Sachs sees the metaverse as an $8 trillion opportunity. Goldman Sachs was calling Bitcoin a scam just a few years ago. So what these, you know, what these uh, businesses and investment banks have seen is the business opportunity because they're not they're not dumb and they don't actually care about crypto or anything they care about making money and they see that this is the way that's, that this is going 
us as investors and early investors can also take advantage of this. Crypto actually allows us to get in early. So yes, the price has come off a lot. We've had a lot of selling and you've seen earlier on the video, we are technically still in a downtrend. So the way I do things is just consistently invest over time. I'm not trying to beat the market. I don't need to be a hero. I just need to participate in this market because it's growing over time and I'm young enough. I can wait 10 years and these guys think that some of these cryptos are going to be worth trillions of dollars, which I do too, to be honest. I can't really say that, um, make any price predictions. I don't know. But I'm just going to consistently invest over time and participate in what is obviously the biggest growth story of our generation. If you want to know more about how I invest, look at my trade alerts and come and talk to me. Uh, MoneyZG.academy, link in description. I have 150 videos going through how to invest in crypto and how to navigate this space. Uh, I think it would really help a lot of people. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.